A ton of people who use Unreal Engine really like the blueprint system in Unreal Engine and they almost prefer it over coding sometimes. In this video, I'm going to be talking about if it's actually something that can be a threat to coding coming up right now. Hey what is going on guys, it is Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to my channel guys. I love seeing you all here, I see that a lot of people who are subscribers to my channel actually comment on my videos. Speaking of which, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new to this channel, I make cool content like level design, speed level designs, tutorials for game development and also these type of commentary videos where I talk to you guys and give you tips and tricks for you to become a better level designer and a game developer. And in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about a topic that is very heat right now because because it's really really just something that a lot of people have been asking me as well because since I use, started using Unreal Engine I've been sort of talking about Blueprint System and I, how I hate it um, to be you know pretty much biased I can be honest with you guys there but and the main factor to that is actually because I am just a coding type of guy if you haven't if you're new to this channel you probably don't know but my main profession is actually coding so I've been programming for about roughly eight nine years and I've been level designing for about two years so not even that I started making videos commentary videos where I sort of started talking a little bit about this you know making a game and because a lot of people have been asking me psycho when are you gonna make a game you know we want to play a game by you. We don't just want to see your level designs. And I do want to make a game, but I've always, you know, had something come up into me, into my face in real life, to be honest. Right now, it is university exams. For a couple of months ago, it was my driver's license and getting the license, actually. And which I did because I've seen that a lot of people congratulated me on my channel. So thank you very much. Um, that is a pure proof that you actually follow me on Twitter. <laughs> but now, basically, I have my university exam, so I can't really focus on making a serious game. But I do have the idea guys it's coming up very very soon there there are going to be a lot of videos on this channel about that so if you don't want to miss that out click the subscribe button guys and make sure to hit that like button if you find this video helpful because i really appreciate seeing your guys' support but anyway let's get started with this video once again i've been using blueprint system and i use the coding uh or i coded in c plus plus with um unreal engine and now that i'm talking about blueprint I don't only talk about the Unreal Engine's version of Blueprints. I'm actually talking about other game engines that are using the same method, even though they use different names for it. Uh, I used the game engine back when I was really new into this, like for eight years ago, uh, which was called, I think it was called 001 Engine. I'm actually going to check that out later. And I plan on making a video with it. So let me know what you think about that. It could actually be a very cool video. But basically, there have been, you know, various amount of game engines that have taken its hit on the blueprint system that it represented in Unreal Engine and I sort of feel like some game engines have it easier than the other ones because for example I thought that game engine or engine 001 had a very very easy system for uh, that compensated for coding so you couldn't code on that engine it was like Unreal Engine but you couldn't code so the the event system was what they call it now I remember and um, the event system was their you know sort of way of coding just like in Unreal Engine and now the event system in Engine 001 I'm just gonna call it for 001 in 001 the event system was very very easy and it was fairly simple to get into even if you were just a beginner however Unreal Engine is pretty much known furiously for its uh, complexity and uh, for its professionalism as I like to call it and um, it's not a bad thing it's definitely not a bad thing you can learn blueprints in Unreal Engine it doesn't mean that it's impossible to learn just because it's a little bit more difficult but I just don't like the way they have taken its head on it and um, you know I've seen also some people that are like well blueprint system is sort of compensating for coding and it's it can be the future of coding and I was like as soon as I saw that comment I was like no it's not gonna happen because there are just so many factors that are going to prohibit from that happening first and foremost most blueprints and event systems or whatever used in various different game engines for example the blueprint system in Unreal Engine is way too limited to be compared to coding yes you can make a make a functional game in Unreal Engine by using the blueprint system but it's gonna be fairly simple it's not gonna be very very complex however by using C++ or any programming 
programming language represented in a game engine, you can make a game from scratch that is also complex. But the moral of this story is basically that blueprints are created by, or the blueprint system is basically created by using coding. It's created from scratch by using coding by the game engine developers. And you cannot use it to, you know, you can compensate for coding obviously, but to an extent. And you cannot use it to skip coding completely because it is created by coding. It cannot be developed more than it is without using coding. So if you say you want to make uh, an extension for the blueprint system in Unreal Engine, how are you going to do it? Well, by using coding. So you can't just skip using coding because there is a blueprint system. And that is not only for when you want to make an extension for a blueprint system, but it's also for using the blueprint system itself. In order to understand how the blocks function and how they work by moving them along and how you can connect the nodes and to understand the technical part of it you need to know coding so the statement blueprint system is going to take over coding or completely replace coding in its own part it's false because coding is what builds computers in the first place and it is what builds everything on the computer as well just like a game engine just like any other application that you download from the internet and you cannot just replace something that is the mother core of everything almost uh, when we're speaking technically. There are going to be many different factors and many different scenarios where you have to use coding and equations and like that. And it's, it's not a complex equation that I'm talking about. Even the simplest form of an equation, the movement speed of your character, to move the character with a function by using the movement speed integer or a float. These are all equations that you have to solve in order to come up with a complex solution to your game. Now, these simple forms of equations can obviously be done in blueprints because if you want to move your character X speed in 10 seconds, let's say that, right? You can probably do that by using blueprints because that is supported inside of Unreal Engine. But when you want to make it a little bit top notch and you know go up a level, you're not going to be able to make it from blueprints by scratch. So you're going to have to use coding in some way. And I can confidently say that, I know this is going to sound ignorant, but I can confidently say that it's going to continue being like that. Even if the blueprint system is going to be implemented by uh, for more usage of equations and for more usage of uh, complex solutions for game development, it's not going to replace coding completely because it's not. It's just not going to be possible because there is always room for improvement for everything in this world. and just so it is for blueprints and just so it is for coding so the that's main reason why programming language especially c++ always keeps being updated uh, since it actually got released so it never stops being updated because there are just so many new features and so many new complexities that are being added to the programming language and so it is for the blueprint but the twist is for C++, you actually code it inside of the coding language so you can actually use it as the API. Whereas in Blueprint system with Unreal Engine, you're not going to be able to use Blueprints to create more Blueprints. You're going to have to use coding in order to extend the Blueprint system. So, you know, it doesn't really work that well together because it's not just it's just not logical to think that it's going to replace coding completely. So no, coding is not written by blueprints or anything like that. Maybe, maybe in the near future, people are going to, um, actually, I was gonna say, maybe people are going to choose blueprints over coding, but that is wrong too, because a lot of schools have been starting to teach programming to kids. And fun fact, they start by using blueprints and um, systems like blueprints, but I just like to call them for blueprints because people understand what I mean. So they've started by using blueprints where kids, you know, sort of just node, uh, put a node uh, between two different blocks or, uh, you know, set up two structural blocks so that a character can move inside of a game or whatever. And um, then after that, they move on to coding and they move on to teaching the kids how these blocks actually work. And that is my point with this video, because you need to know coding in order to understand how the blueprints work. I hope that this video wasn't a mess. <laughs> um, but that is pretty much my take on uh, blueprints and coding. This is not, you know, fact or anything. They, the school part is obviously a fact. And the fact that, you know, blueprints are created by using coding is also a fact, obviously. But... Uh, these are my opinions regarding what Blueprint is going to be in uh, in terms of positioning compared to coding. So coding is always going to be sort of preferred over Blueprints, in my opinion. And if you have any other opinions than that, 
let me know in the comment section below this is an open discussion so just you know put your comments continuously and i will try to respond to every single one and um, let's keep a you know clean uh, cool comment section where we can sort of discuss with each other and trade opinions but anyway guys once again i hope you all enjoyed this video if you have make sure to hit that like button down below in the face to actually show some support and love to my channel thank you guys so much for all the support on my previous videos and also if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because i have interesting content coming up like this one and more speed level designs and more programming videos. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications so that you can actually be notified whenever I upload a new content. And if you have any ideas for level designs, make sure to let me know in the comment section below and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.